Hey guys, Tina here, the Critical Virgo. Welcome back to another Fragrance Fridays. Today I'm going to do a review. I'm just not in the mood, um, so I don't want to force something that I'm not in the mood to do today. And I've been having a lot of fun with these whole like story times. I feel like they're a really great way for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. And I don't know, I've been wanting to record this video since I like started my whole samples month a little while ago. And I just never got around to it. And because I was just feeling this way, I said, let's do it. So if you're not in story times and all that jazz, then just come back another day. No biggie. I won't take offense, promise. Um, but if you are into those things, then I hope you enjoy. So in 2004, yes, I'm taking you back to 2004, I was engaged and I had planned out a whole wedding. We had the venue, the caterer, <laughs> the photographer, uh, limos, I had a dress, everything was booked. And we had like deposits down on everything, okay? And like installment payments going out. A few months before the wedding, my, at the time, fiance called it off. And I was just devastated. I was like, are you kidding me? That's like the worst thing that could happen, right? And I still to this day don't know like the true reason about what happened. I've heard like little things from friends. My dad kind of made a comment saying he might've said something to him. I don't know. But um, I get a phone call from a girlfriend of mine a few months after. And she asked me if I wanted to go to a concert. And I said, sure, why not? And I was like, which concert is it? She's like, Nine Inch Nails. I'm like, even better. I was like, how much are the tickets? She's like, that's the best part. I'm like, okay. She's like, they're free. And I was like, even better, when are we going? And then she was like, there's a catch. I said, what's the catch? And she said that it's in London. It's a big catch. <laughs> so I didn't have a passport because I had never left the US. And I had like, I think it was like two months to get like everything together. And I don't know if you know what the process is to get a passport, like you have to mail out your birth certificate, you have to go through this whole like background check, do these fingerprints, photos, whatever, and wait for it to come back. I had to pay to expedite it. I got it like a week before I had to leave, so everything just kind of worked out. And I used one of the tickets that my parents purchased for the honeymoon. They had paid for like this whole trip to Hawaii and I was able to use one of those tickets because they couldn't get their money back on them. And I just feel so bad because we couldn't even get the money back on that guy's ticket. <laughs> but um, a few days before we left, I was flipping through one of those magazines, you know, where they give you like all kinds of horrible advice on dating. And I was just trying to like distract myself. And there was like a few paper samples of perfume, like you know how sometimes when you're in a magazine they have like the one where you pull the one flap up and it's kind of on like a sticky surface and you rub it on if you're being really cheap and you just want to try something out without really trying it out. I sniffed a bunch of different ones but the one that really stood out in my mind is Beyond Paradise by Estee Lauder. I remember it smelling like a vacation in a bottle. And at that moment in my life, like that is exactly what I needed. I needed some distraction, some vacation to get me somewhere, something different. And because this trip was gonna be so expensive because our money was worth half um, compared to the pound, I didn't really wanna go ahead and spend the money on like a new bottle of perfume or anything crazy because I only had so much going to this vacation. Well, I'm on a seven and a half hour flight from New York to London and I was flipping through the Duty Free magazine and guess what I saw? This bottle. And I said to myself, self, you really need something to remind you of this very moment in your life. And I purchased this while I was on the plane through the magazine and I wore this while we were on vacation there. And I just sprayed some on before I started recording just to remind myself of what this smells like. <clears throat> it's got like this really tropical vibe to it. 
and like I said, it was exactly what I needed. It's a uh, got this beautiful honeysuckle. It's really fresh, kind of woody. When I smell this now, I just remember how I felt when I was sitting on the plane and I was so young at that time. I remember also like walking the streets of London and going to one of the most incredible clubs, Ministry of Sound. I remember when we were like booking this trip and I was like hardcore into techno, electronic, I still am. But um, I was like, we have to go there. We just have to go there because I had like all their mixed CDs. But um, it reminds me of getting really wasted in London, meeting people from New York there actually, because when we went, it was after the first bombing and we had left before the second bombing. So we met some New York City cops um, that were like part of the anti-terrorism unit. They were over there helping out and we were so homesick. We were only there for like a week, a week or a week and a half. And we were just so homesick. It was like the first time that I traveled really far away and I didn't really like have any connection to home. I just felt very, I don't know, scared. And it was such a like exhilarating experience at the same time, but we were in Starbucks and I met these really cool cops and like we've been friends since but oh my god it just it makes me remember the whole trip and even though this was such a I don't even want to say like a dark or a depressing because I didn't I wasn't I was depressed for like a week but then I quickly got over it once I realized that, that he did me a favor by doing it before the wedding and not after. Um, but just remembering the whole, that whole period of my life where I just felt like everything was falling apart and also the promise of new beginnings. So this is actually the bottle that I purchased. It's the original one. Again, I purchased this in 2004. I believe this came out in 2003. I'm pretty sure it's been reformulated about a thousand times, so I don't know how the current versions smell. I wear this very sparingly, mainly when I need a reminder of how some of the worst experiences in your life could be and should be looked at as mini blessings and life lessons and when I just want to remember what it felt like to be that very young girl who <laughs> thought she knew it all and thought she was ready for it all but yeah I'm 30 something I won't say how old <laughs> I'm 30 something and I still don't know it all but um at that time you couldn't tell me that so I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was really personal uh, time of my life and I just think it goes to show how deep some of our memories run or how fragrances can really make us remember certain periods of our life uh, that we may want to forget, uh, but it's important to keep those memories alive. And I'm definitely gonna buy a backup bottle of this because it's really cheap online now and there are so many bottles that I regret not doing that with. So I will definitely be getting one. And uh, I don't know, I was, I was thinking about it the other day when I was thinking about recording this one. And if I ever get married, um, I think I'd wear this on my wedding day. I know that sounds totally crazy, 
because of the backstory to it, but I don't know, I think it just feels right. What are your thoughts? Put them down below. Till next Friday, guys. Bye.